It's Friday, September 18th, 2015, and let's talk about what happened this week over at xdadevelopers.com. First up, Elephone has announced a new flagship for their phone line, which they're calling Vowney for now. There are two versions of it, one with a MediaTek MT6795 processor and Android 5.0, and another one with an Intel quad-core processor and either Android 5.0 or Windows 10. Other than that, the two devices both have 20 megapixel Sony cameras, 3800 milliamp hour batteries, 3 gigs of RAM, a 2K display, and 64 gigs of built-in storage. Sounds pretty interesting, though I'd be willing to bet they don't support US LTE bands, unfortunately. They also say that they're working on a smartwatch, but there are no real specs about it available at the moment. Qualcomm has made some announcements this week, some new processors and whatnot, but the biggest thing, I think, is that their next generation of chips are going to have Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. This is supposed to be up to 38% more efficient than its predecessor, and twice as fast as the original Quick Charge 1.0, and be able to go from 0 to 80% in just 35 minutes, which is ridiculous. As an update to last week's video, Sony has gone ahead and started rolling out Android 5.1.1 to the Xperia Z1, Z1 Compact, and Ultra, so be on the lookout for that. It should also include the stage fright fixes. Speaking of Xperia devices, XDA senior member Jozanek put up a system dump from the Xperia Z5 Compact compact on the forum, so if you want to start tearing it apart and seeing what makes it tick, head on over to his thread. XDA recognized developer TechHD put the newly released BOH6 firmware for the T-Mobile Note 5 into his list of downloads for that device. XDA senior member Mr. Junkie has put out a custom ROM for the T-Mobile Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, ripping a bunch of the carrier bloat out of it and adding in some useful mods. Official nightlies of Cyanogen Mod are now available for the 2015 Moto E and the Huawei Ascend Mate 2. Motorola has released the kernel source for the 2015 Moto X Pure Edition over on their GitHub. XDA senior member Joshua D. Johnson 22 put together a guide showing you how you can unlock the Moto X Pure and possibly even the Moto X style. And then once you unlock your new Moto X, Twerp is officially available for it. Moving on over to the Alcatel One Touch Idle 3, apparently the 8 gig model of the Idle 3 actually comes with 16 gigs of storage built into it. XDA senior member Petrov Zero put together a guide showing you how to repartition the memory of the Idle 3 to regain some of that extra space. Just make sure that you do backups on it before trying anything. He also put together a guide showing you how to re-enable fastboot commands on the Idle 3, since apparently the latest update for the Idle 3 disabled them. XDA recognized developer Ketut Kumajaya has released unofficial CM12.1 builds for the Xiaomi Redmi 2. There are still some camera and sound issues with it though, so keep an eye on his forum thread for updates. Amir did a very thorough written review of the Elephone P8000. Matthew did an article talking about his whole Android setup, including all of his devices and accessories. We've got some new forums that have been added for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2, the Blue Pure XL, the Micromax Unite 2, and Canvas 2, and the TechLast X98 Air 3G. And finally, one other video was posted to XDA TV this week where I had entirely too much fun compiling together all of the unboxings for the Best Phones Under $100 series. But you know what? That is gonna be about all from me for today. You can find the links to all of the stories that I talked about down in the video description, as well as the links to my two YouTube channels. Remember, if you like this video, please do leave us a like down below the video and subscribe to receive all of our content as soon as it becomes available. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.